today we're in the book of Exodus chapter 17 and there's well there's two battles that are going on in this chapter one with the people who've come out of Egypt with Moses and one with an enemy called the Amalekites or Amalek as it starts off here's the battle that Moses is encountering with the people listen to verse 1 then all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin according to the commandment of the Lord and camped in Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. So the people began to complain and murmur against Moses, there's no water, we're out here in the middle of the desert. And so God instructs Moses to gather the people together to take his staff and strike a rock. And out of the rock comes water. It's miraculous. God providing water, that which satisfies in the midst of a dry place. And then they encounter the enemy, the Amalekites. And Moses sort of, well, he puts his finger on Joshua to be his lieutenant, to pick a group of men and go out and fight the enemy. And Moses goes on top of a mountain. He takes Aaron and another man named Hur. And Moses sort of lifts his hands and begins to pray as the battle goes on. And Moses gets tired. And his hands are, well, they, they can't stay up. So Aaron and her hold up the arms of Moses. And when his arms are up, they win the battle. When they go down, they, they lose. So God paints for us in this chapter of Exodus a amazing picture of this. And this is what I think he's saying, that God always provides, but also God uses well, he uses people like Aaron, her, and Moses, and, and does miraculous things. But I always come to this when there's passages like this, that if we'll do our part, God will always do his part. And God will always provide that which we need in dry places. And God will always help us to fight against, well, Amalek, the flesh, the enemy. And God is always victorious.